So in this video, I'm going to go over some Redbubble SEO changes that I'm going to be making to my store to try to drive more traffic. Now, SEO is probably going to be the most important thing on your store because you could have tons of killer designs, but if no one is finding them and coming to your page and products, you're not going to sell anything without that SEO. So products is just half of the challenge here. And with my knowledge of selling print on demand on Etsy and making a ton of money there and having killer SEO, driving a ton of free traffic, I think that some of these techniques over from Etsy can work pretty well on Redbubble. And then I watch a ton of just Redbubble SEO videos on people that are making thousands of dollars on Redbubble to kind of see what they're doing with their titles and tags as well, which I'm going to share with you here. But one thing that really bothered me about these Redbubble SEO videos is they didn't actually show you a setup of them making the title and keywords on their actual products. They just talked about it. So I'm going to definitely get in here in my screen and show you some tools as well as just do a little mock upload here of a product of how I'm going to go about these SEO and things I'm going to try to change and do differently going forward. So this website, redbubble.gabu, I don't exactly know if it's owned by Redbubble or not. It does have the Redbubble and little copyright logo, but I don't think it is, but I think it actually is pretty legit. If you see, you can click on the top one. They're using share a sale. It's an affiliate link, so they work with Redbubble to basically get a share of each sale. So if you ever click on that link, and end up buying something probably in the next couple weeks even they are going to get a little bit percent of that sale from share sale in the affiliate program so they definitely want these popular tags showing up uh, first on their site so they're actually people are clicking on things that are going to make sales so this is actually interesting which i did not really think was a big thing on Redbubble, which I knew stickers was a big thing, but hydro flask stickers. So those hydro flasks are like those metal water bottles um, that people just throw a bunch of stickers on. So I guess that is a big thing on Redbubble. And a lot of these people are just making these specifically for that. You can see they even figured out a way to have individual sticker cutouts in one piece. And I'm guessing what they did is just remove the background and then um, have just little designs scattered about and they actually come out as separate stickers which is a pretty cool idea and I mean these people are getting it to show up on the home page for that so if we just click on one you could see an example that they show on a hydro flask so it's like this it'll be separate stickers out like that and then you probably, if you're going to do that, you're probably not going to sell it on any other products, even though this, this person does have it for other products. But like this shirt and pillow and poster just look pretty ridiculous. But definitely a cool idea for stickers. Um, and now that we're already a little sidetracked, let's get back to the Red Bevel popular tags. So another thing I noticed on here is how many total results are going to show up on Redbubble for these tags and then how many are getting taken off or added each week so you can see down here that's what what the results uh, delta means here so if we're looking at at the top one 27,000 results only 800 are, are taken down so the ratio is not that bad so it's not really at risk for a copyright strike in, in my opinion. And same with Outer Banks, even though Outer Banks is definitely copyrighted. It's a TV show that was really popular in the past few months. So, but only 15,000 reviews and only 392 taken down is also not that bad. Compared to something like this, Charlie, whatever, I'm, I think she's a TikTok person or Instagram. Um, 999 results, but nearly a third have been taken down. So more at risk for getting a copyright issue with selling something like this. Um, and then one is actually positive here, which is a wrapper. Um, so that could be an interesting thing to get into. It seems like not many people are getting in trouble for copyright issues making those designs.
So for this example, I think I'm going to go with Outer Banks here because we're not getting a lot taken down and I know it's really popular and it should be pretty easy to just throw up some kind of Outer Banks design. So if we go back to Redbubble and type in Outer Banks, we can just kind of get a good idea of what is coming up on the instant uh, first search page from an Outer Banks search. So some cartoons, like some sayings with just the word. This person actually just used an image of them, which I'm guessing is more at risk for copyright, just a straight up image versus like a cartoon image or a caption. So I think I'm gonna go with some kind of, of logo here. Um, I like the OBX logo, that's pretty cool, and I've seen that a few places, OBX. And I think the direction I'm going, which I actually already have this pulled up, is like a location bumper sticker. I know you've seen something like this before where it's the circle with the name of the city. Um, actually, ideally like this, and then it has it written right below. So I've actually already designed this, and I'm kind of making mine look a little cooler than just the basic white and black, which maybe an older audience would go for this, and we're trying to target the younger demographic because Outer Banks, I'm guessing, is people like age 12 to 25 watching that show okay so now we're going to throw up my design here so for the title i'm just going to start with outer banks and then i'm going to say obx logo so people that are specifically looking for the show outer banks but want a sticker or a shirt with that obx logo is is what i'm going for here and you can see in a second my design what it looks like so it is that obx but it's black background with a light gray lettering. I think it looks pretty cool, and the font is a little less basic than the other one that we saw. Um, and another thing I wanted to try on the SEO is something that works really well on Etsy. So basically on Etsy, you can make, you can turn your title into tags basically. So if you just hit a space and then use the bar and then try something else out like OBX, design like that and then hit another bar and you can just keep going on Etsy. So that's something I wanted to try on Redbubble and I'll let you know if the products I do to that make any sales. Um, but for this I'm just going to leave it at here. So something for tags, I know there's free tag generators on the internet but honestly a lot of them are pretty bad and I heard that your items can get delisted for having unrelevant tags and also uh, it actually can hurt your SEO by having too many tags, especially if they don't have anything to do with your product. So for the tags, actually something you can use on this site is they have a tag generator, but it doesn't work apparently. If you click on it, just nothing happens. So something you can do is search for what you want, and then it'll have everything with the word Outer Banks in it that's a popular tag ranked in order. So Outer Banks and then Outer Banks just stickers, Outer Banks Netflix, clothes, sweatshirts, posters. So I think it's good to put the tags of the actual product names that you think are gonna sell the best. So maybe for me, I wouldn't do tapestry or something because I don't think I'm gonna sell a lot of these designs on tapestries or masks. I would want to do more like stickers and clothes for this kind of design, which I'm going to put in my tags that should be the most relevant. So I'm just going to write these out and then I'll also come back here at the end and show you guys kind of what I wrote out. Another interesting thing first that I noticed is JJ comes up in a lot of these tags, which is weird because he was like the fourth or fifth main character it seemed like in the show but apparently he was one of the most popular, so I might throw him in a tag just to try to get some more views or something. So one tip to do this faster is if you know you're gonna have the word Outer Banks in a lot of your tags, just copy it, so then you can just keep pasting and adding words afterwards. And another thing that I saw on a lot of YouTube videos is what people said works really well for tags is make the title the same as the tag. I didn't see anything about having a really long title with like separations like I was talking about on Etsy so I'm not going to do that on a lot of my designs I'm just going to test it out here and there 
but they definitely said to make your first tag the same as your title and it works really well for SEO, SEO for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out on everything that I'm doing here. Okay, so I filled out a lot of tags here and I think you can just put as many tags as you want actually on here. But I copied a lot from that site and then also something I did was just make my own. So I think some people could be searching just OBX stickers and then something maybe like OBX clothing, OBX shirt, OBX sweatshirts. I think this design will look cool on shirts and sweatshirts as well as stickers and phone cases and things like that. So definitely trying to throw those in my tags. I um, also threw a JJ Outer Banks in there and threw in just Outer Banks clothing. So a lot of relevant tags I got from this site and then I also just thought about um, exactly what my design here is and how to best describe it. So another thing you could do is OBX location sticker which kind of describes this and then OBX bumper sticker but you could do OBX bumper stickers with an S so just try a bunch of different things out so you can see this design looks pretty good on everything you're gonna have to move it around and enable a lot of things but basically you want to make sure that that sticker looks really good and the shirts and sweatshirts especially Okay, so those I think are the best tips for improving your SEO and things that you can try on your own and some things that I'm going to be trying and will report back on which of these products trying these different SEO tactics out are going to get sales here. And definitely check out this Redbubble Dabu site. It's going to be linked at the top of the description and also I'll link my other Redbubble videos down in the description for you to check those out with also some very helpful tips and kind of my story of getting started on Redbubble and one other thing on here I wanted to mention really quick before we end this video is you can search over here so say you want to make some design on hippos you can see that hippo is not that popular only the 6,000th most popular thing on a popular tag on here and then something like Kanye West would be top 1000 so not even that popular but I think somewhere more in that range is going to be a better product to make and you can definitely search here before you start making a bunch of products you don't want something that's going to rank super low because you're not going to get a lot of views or sales on that item so just one other thing to look out for when making new products and trying to get as many views as possible so if you guys like this video and want more Redbubble updates and other print on demand videos and just kind of passive income videos definitely like this video and subscribe